Hello everyone. In this video, we have this interesting problem. We have e to the power x minus e to the power negative x is equal to 2. And we have to find the value of x. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. From the real world, this equation is the same as e to the power x minus 1 over e to the power x and this is equal to 2. Now let's go ahead and then multiply through by e to the power x. So we have e to the power x all squared minus 1 is equal to 2 times e to the power x. Equating everything to 0, we have e to the power x or to the power 2 minus, I'm going to move this one here, so we have negative 2 e to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now you can see we have a quadratic equation of the form ay squared plus by plus c is equal to 0, where a is never equal to 0. Now if you compare the coefficients, you can see that a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2 and then c is equal to negative 1 and of course y is equal to e to the power x okay now let's go ahead and then plug these values into the quadratic formula so we have e to the power x is equal to negative b but we have b to be negative 2 so we have positive 2 here then plus or minus square root of b squared so negative 2 squared will be 4, then minus 4 times 1 times negative 1. Then all divided by 2 times a, a is 1, so we have 2. Okay, so we have e to the power x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of, now we have negative 4 times 1 is still negative 4, times negative 1 is positive 4, so we have positive 4 plus 4 over here is 8. Then everything is divided by 2. Okay? Now let's go ahead and then simplify this further. So we have e to the power x is equal to 2 plus or minus. Square root of 8 is the same as 2 root 2. Then everything is divided by 2. Okay? We can go ahead and then factor 2 out. So we have e to the power x is equal to 2 into 1 plus or minus square root of 2 divided by 2. So straight away you can see that this 2 will cancel this. So we have e to the power x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 2. Okay, so this implies that e to the power x is equal to 1 plus square root of 2 or e to the power x is equal to 1 minus square root of 2. Considering this equation, this negative square root of 2 will make this equation negative. But we are looking for real solutions, so e to the power x cannot be negative, so we are not going to consider this equation. Now considering this equation, let's introduce natural log on both sides. So we have natural log of e to the power x is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 2. Now this natural log and then this e will undo each other. So we have x is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 2. And this is our final answer. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.